Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is going to be a quick hit. And this, this lesson is based off faith. All right, so the title of this video would be Faith. Faith. All right, so what I did was I put faith in the blue letter. And as you can see, it is 231 verses that deal with faith. All right, so let's read the first precept. This is Habakkuk 2 and 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. All right, so the just, which is the elect, they're going to live by faith. Now, this truth of ours, okay, and uh, knowing and believing, you know, who we are as a people according to the scriptures, all right, it deals with what? Faith. You know, you have to have faith in order to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, uh, Paul said in Romans, the 14th chapter, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. Okay, so Habakkuk 2 and 4, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. All right. So the just is going to live by his faith. Now, this is Mark 6 and 30. It says, wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow it is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? All right. Because today you can say that the grass Okay, the Lord clothed the grass of the field. All right, when I'm in Babylon, all right, you got other brothers, which is of the elect around the four corners of the world. And, you know, we're living this everyday life. You know, you see the trees, you see the grass is green. All right, you see Esau's system is in play. All right, and you got your everyday, uh, uh, de uh, your everyday duties, right? It says, which today is. And it says, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, all right? Because ultimately, the Most High is going to destroy, all right, this society of Esau, Edom. You know, and as I speak, Esau, Edom is being exposed, all right? He's being revealed in his time, you know? This devil was going down, all right? Ultimately, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is going to destroy Babylon the Great with thermonuclear destruction. So it says, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Shall he not much more clothe you? And what we're looking to be clothed upon. Like as Paul went in, you know, we did a lesson yesterday, uh, 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Paul spoke, up, spoke about being clothed upon. All right. Clothed upon with what? That new body. All right. The elect is going to be taken up in those chariots before the destruction hit. And they're going to be clothed upon with that new body. All right. When the Most High fulfilled the new covenant. All right. So it says, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? All right, because it's going to take faith to believe, man. Okay, it's going to take faith to actually get, all right, to this level. All right, it's going to take a great deal of st a strong faith because what's um, ahead of us, okay, is persecution, tribulation, all right, anguish of spirit, you know. The hours of temptation. All right. It says uh, Mark 8 and 10. When Yahweh heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed. Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. All right. Because you got some men who may exercise. All right. Uh, great faith. All right. Then you got some men that may their faith may not be as great. But if you up the elect. Your faith is going to be great, all right, because the Lord is going to increase us at our last end. That's in uh, Sirach, the second chapter, all right, when we're changed into a low state. The Lord is going to increase and give us what? That great faith, all right? All right, let's get to the next one. This is Matthews 8 and 26. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Okay, 
Now he says, and he said unto them, why are ye fearful? Okay, so this is the time when Yahweh Shai was on the boat with the disciples. All right, and they were afraid because of the strong winds that the heavenly father blew. Okay, and it says, O ye of little faith, because at that time they had little faith. You know, when you first come into this truth, you have faith. All right, but it could be little. Because you have to be tried. All right. The Most High tries the righteous. So it says, Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, there's nothing that's impossible. Okay. The men of the Lord who receive the power, the spiritual powers of the Lord, it's because there's nothing impossible when it comes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, Matthews uh, 9 and 2. So like yeah, every night they do this. All right. They pop fireworks. Um, Matthews 9 and 2. And behold, they brought to him a man sick. Uh, yeah. A man sick of the palsy lying in a, on the bed. And Yahweh Shai seeing their faith said unto the sick of the palsy, son, be of good cheer. Thou sins be forgiven thee. You know, so, you know, when developing faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it starts with you acknowledging, all right, your wickedness, all right. Uh, what's that? Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. Uh, the Lord said, um, um, uh, ooh, uh, let me let me get it real quick. Bear with me. Okay. This is 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right. Now, this is the, the, the act of faith. This is the first beginning in the act of faith when you acknowledge your wickedness. All right. When you acknowledge your sins against the laws of the Lord when you transgress when you had transgressed all right so that when you acknowledge this you know now you're not going to go that path you're going to walk the straight gate all right you're going to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord okay so you got a lot of guys that know that they're Israelites but that don't mean that they're in the truth because if you know that you're an Israelite you're supposed to walk in the ways of the Lord all right to the best of your ability so the Lord said, if my people, which are called by my name, which are the Israelites, Yasha Allah, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, which is the Bible, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. OK, so now let's go back. OK, so going back to Matthews 9 and 2, it says, and behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy lying in on lying on the bed and Yahweh Shai seeing their faith said unto the sick of the palsy son be of good cheer thou sins be forgiven thee all right so you know when you sick all right it's because you sin all right uh there's 231 verses here so I ain't gonna go through all of them but uh let me get the one in Hebrews, which is the definition of faith. Let me stroll down. Bear with me. Let's get that one. With me, me. Okay, all right, I found it. So it's a lot good ones here in Hebrews. I should have started there. So this is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So that's what faith is. That's the definition of faith. Okay, faith is the substance of things hoped for. All right, because we hope in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right now, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, can you can say he's the invisible power. That's, that's doing all the works, all right? It says, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So your faith represents the evidence 
that you have, okay, in the Lord. All right, uh, I'm gonna continue on. Uh, let me let me go up here, and I'm probably read a few more. This is Hebrews four and, and two. It says, "For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, but the word pro the word preached did not profit them." not being mixed with faith in them that heard it now you got a lot of guys who came into the truth you know put their hand to the plow but they look back they wasn't mixed with the faith all right they wasn't mixed with the faith of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right and that's why they withdraw okay they turned back and went back into the world and then you got a guys coming back because they see that this thing is uh is tightening up they see that you know, the Lord prophecies is coming to pass. But guess what? Yahweh Shai said, uh, he that put his hand to the plow and looketh back, you're not fit for the kingdom. All right. So that's deadly. OK, now everybody's not the prodigal son. OK, so it says Hebrews 6 and 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, let us go on unto perfection, not lying again, the foundation, not lay, not uh, laying Again, this foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward the Most High. Uh, Hebrews 6 and 12, it says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. So in order to see salvation, you have to have faith. All right. OK, the individual you have to have faith. All right. And patience to inherit the promises. Uh, Hebrews 10, 10, 22 let us draw near with the true heart of full insurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled, uh, uh, sprinkled with sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure, pure water. All right. So you want to have the heart, uh, the heart in full insurance of faith. All right. You know, and this word goes out to the elect. And I hope you guys are edified. This is a quick hit. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.